What do we do if we have people in our life who underperform? Friends who don't live up to their potential? Staff that fail to use their gifts and talents? Normally, we turn to motivation, giving them praise, appreciation, and compliments we hope will inspire greater performance. Mansky and Gray tell us we're simply wasting our time. They set out to expose the motivation myth. Praise, appreciation, and compliments do not actually do what we think they do. Instead, they produce a far different result, a result that is actually undesirable. Mansky and Gray suggest we turn to acknowledgement, which is a very different type of communication from compliments, appreciation, or praise. Join us for the next 10 minutes and you'll find out exactly how different it is and how much of a difference it can make. Lesson 1. Acknowledgement. What it is and what it is not. Acknowledgement is objective and compliments are subjective. Acknowledgement is saying what we have to without opinion or judgment. If there is an opinion or a judgment in any of our words, it is not acknowledgement. We often use a number of forms of endorsement. Compliment, appreciation, validation, affirmation, thanking, recognition, praise, championing, cheerleading. There are many forms of subjective endorsement, but they all create the same outcome. Compliment. The project is wonderful. You are so smart. Appreciation. I really appreciate you completing this project on time. Validation. I see that you've given this project a lot of effort and thought. Affirmation. I think you deserve all the credit for this successful project. Thanking. Thank you for putting all your time and effort into this project. Recognition. It is clear you are a very talented project manager. Praise. Awesome job. Championing. I told the CEO that you were the right person for this project. Cheerleading. I knew you could do it. The key point to note is that all of the above have opinion or judgment. Ours. Acknowledgement is factual and puts all the attention and focus on the other person. Acknowledgement is not about us. Acknowledgement. You completed the project on time. Mansky and Gray suggest that when people get acknowledged, they get to see what they really did instead of hearing someone else's opinion about what they did. A person who has been acknowledged feels appreciated, validated, and recognized. They can recognize their achievement without any baggage. They get to praise themselves. They get to be their own champion and cheerleader. Together this builds self-confidence, self-worth, self-esteem, and a belief in their own ability. They can clearly recognize what should be done the next time in order to produce the desired result. Here's some of the other characteristics of acknowledgement. Pure acknowledgement is simply stating what happened or what result was produced. Acknowledgement happens over time. An acknowledgement has to be about something that is finished. It needs to be complete. Acknowledgement shows we're paying attention. An acknowledgement needs to be specific to be effective. What did someone do? what exactly happened, what result was produced. An acknowledgement must be about something people did or a result they produced. It's about the facts. The best acknowledgements are short, simple, specific, and about only one thing. Lesson two, how to acknowledge. First challenge, what do we acknowledge? We need to state what happened or what results were achieved. But how do we make this as effective as we can? Here's an interesting fact that Mansky and Gray point out. People will tell us what they want to be acknowledged for. The easiest way to acknowledge people is to actually listen to them and then repeat back what they said with a tone of genuine appreciation, wonder, curiosity, or surprise. The hardest part of acknowledgement is taking ourselves out of it. As soon as the word I shows up, then it's no longer about them, it's about us. We need to be completely out of the equation. The same goes for modifiers and descriptors in what we say. Mansky and Gray give an example. You spoke your mind probably makes us feel good. You spoke your mind clearly probably makes us feel a little deflated. It ends on a down note. Did we not speak our mind clearly last time? As soon as modifiers and descriptors enter into our acknowledgement, we're no longer acknowledging. We are judging. Let's consider the tone of our acknowledgement. 
Mansky and Gray suggest that the tone should have a little energy with it. We want to give the person some energy with our acknowledgement. If our tone is neutral or disinterested, the recipient will either not feel acknowledged or the acknowledgement will have far less impact. Finally, acknowledgement does not require a response. The recipient does not need to say thank you. If we're waiting for a response to our acknowledgement, then our attention is inward on us. Lesson three, acknowledgement as feedback. When we're acknowledged, we get to hear what we did that worked or what we did that did not work. Based on that feedback, we can do more of the same or we can do something different. Mansky and Gray tell us that there's a tremendous value in acknowledging what did not work. And the rules are the same as acknowledging something that did work. Remember, acknowledgement is just a statement of the facts. There's nothing to argue with. Without the pressure of having to defend actions, it becomes much easier to influence or modify future performance. Along the same lines of reasoning, acknowledgement of what did not work without judging creates a safer environment where others don't have to fear getting in trouble when mistakes are made. They can count on the facts being dealt with rather than a reaction to a judgment. Acknowledgement expresses our belief in the recipient and in their ability to correct and do what works in place of what does not work. Lesson four, self-acknowledgement. Mansky and Gray tell us to acknowledge our own achievements. Mansky and Gray suggest that self-acknowledgement causes feelings of well-being, self-confidence, optimism, happiness, and self-worth to grow, and it gives us a boost of energy and enthusiasm. The how-to for self-acknowledgement is the same as acknowledging others. State what you did or the result you produced without opinion or judgment. The only difference is substituting I for you. Acknowledgement keeps us focused on the facts rather than our own judgment-laden story about what happened. It is about a role, what we did, not who we are. Lesson 5. Acknowledgement in Leadership Mansky and Gray highlight a key point. Management was invented to manage things, processes, and paper. Management was never intended to be applied to people. People are not things. Alternatively, acknowledgement allows employees to take a clear look at their accomplishments to recognize the people who supported them and to receive support. Acknowledgement creates openness within people and in the environments in which they work, rest, and play. When people get acknowledged, it becomes clear to them that they're productive and that they see how they're making a recognized contribution. The simplest and best way for us to improve our leadership is to find a way to create more openness in our people and our team. To do that, we need to put our ego and our management training aside and acknowledge people. Acknowledgement allows people to learn, to really learn from both their successes and their mistakes. Within the sphere of acknowledgement, eliminating people's fear of punishment automatically increases communication, productivity, receptivity, and connection. It also raises levels of creativity and performance. The mistake that most leaders make is spending a lot of time and energy trying to push people through the resistance instead of creating openness. Pushing people only creates more resistance. When a leader understands what is really important to employees and what achievements and results are meaningful to them, the leader can then begin to help the employees do more of those things. Lesson six. Acknowledgement and Sales Mansky and Gray suggest that acknowledgement is a powerful tool to use in the context of selling. Acknowledgement gives us an option to create an authentic, respectful connection with potential new clients. Acknowledgement helps us warm up to a prospect. In essence, it gets us on the same side of the table as the client. When we acknowledge them, they feel good about themselves. Because they feel better about themselves when we are around, they automatically like us more, which makes it more likely they will do business with us. We stand out because most others are not paying authentic attention to the people they are selling to. In order to make this work, you have to pay attention to what your prospect says. If you're busy trying to figure out what to say or do next, or what part of your script to recite, you will not hear the opportunities for acknowledgement. Acknowledgement works just as well in customer service as it does in sales. Just one acknowledgement can make a customer feel heard, appreciated, and more than just another number. 
Acknowledgement is extremely helpful when people need assistance or are upset. Just a little bit of genuine acknowledgement can change the whole situation. The key is to really listen to the customer and find a few simple things to acknowledge them for. Adding acknowledgement to our customer service strategy will cost virtually nothing and it will immediately improve our customer's experience. So there you have it. A simple way to boost employee performance, customer satisfaction, and business results just by demolishing the motivation myth. Hi, I'm Rhonda, and this is an exclusive audiobook video recorded for the Audiobook Master Channel. Enjoy your audiobook and have fun learning. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll get updated on our next upload. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and say your thoughts about the book we just covered. Do you want to listen to a summary or review of a book that we haven't covered in the past? Say it in the comments below or send us a message. Don't forget to check our other uploads. Enjoy listening!